welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here today with a special game, Black Sonata. Why is this special? This is finally coming off my shelf of shame. It has been sitting on my shelf of shame for almost two years, unplayed, and it was wrapped. I was going to do a little cool unwrapping thing and then get right into the game, but my camera died. So we're on my emergency backup camera here. So that's really not too much of a problem. This is a great game. I did play one. This is be my second playthrough today. And let me just say, I found this to be an excellent, excellent game. The me Everyone always talks about the mechanics behind it. And let me just say, the mechanics are fantastic. Uh, some ch some Something I would do... Unfortunately, my Imperial Assault small card, small, are too, too small for this. So I am probably going to do all the small cards. So what's cool about this is it's set up A, B, C, D, all the way to, as my Canadian friends say, Z. So... There is that. I love the setup of this game and the idea of how it works. So it's a hidden movement game. Our dark lady is going to be running around London. And we're going to be trying to discover who she is. This game is based on historics. Um, problem is we don't know who the dark lady is. We have absolutely zero on the clue meter. Um. We've got a whole bunch of choices, mostly all these ladies, and uh, we really don't know who she is because, like a lot of history, it's just gone. There's not enough clues for us to figure it out. So here we go. We are. I'm starting off on the essentially the second level. Um, these three are easier. These four are easier. These two are more difficult. So I'm going to shuffle this up a little bit. Because I have a tendency of drawing from the bottom of the deck on this. So. This one goes here. This is the Dark Lady. I have no clue who that is. And there is our additional clue. Now we get to get this additional clue when we go to all the locations and grab all the location cards. That is locked. So it's a really cool mechanic in that we get a free spot. To start this deck, which is A through Z, we're just going to cut it one time. It really doesn't matter where you cut it, how you cut it. Uh, the idea is to, to mix up your starting location. We put in the timer, two. This is not the Dark Lady starting point. I am going to... I've seen most people start here, and I don't know why they do this. Um, there are a lot of crosses, but there's also a lot of crosses and homes. So I'm going to start at Bishop's Gate. But the odds of the next one being a cross are really small. So we take the card, move it to the bottom, and it is a house. So the Dark Lady starts at a house. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, I see why you would do that. That kind of makes some sense. Okay. So we're going to... We're not going to investigate. We're not going to try. There's only a 25% chance we're going to be right. And we want to knock that down quickly. And we get the Bishop's Gate card. And we will... Move. Uh, we'll move over here to Corn Cornhill, which is a commercial area and also called the Royal Exchange. Now we see where the Dark Lady moves to. 
forest. Oh, I knew I should have gone up there. The advantage to going to the forest is there are only two of them. So you're automatically at a 50-50. I can't do anything. I will take the card for Cornwall. Corn Bill. Corn Hill. Hill. Yes, that is an H. So. Okay, so we have a choice of church. Which is actually a pretty decent one because that's all that there's going to be. So, water. So one moves to water. This one comes out. If I was over there, that's a definite. Let's take a look. Okay, we're going to move up here. We're just going to start collecting. There seems to be an advantage of being able to collect these. As when I watch others, that's pretty much what they do. So, uh, the black lady will move. Dark lady. To a cross. She can move here or here. We will move to cripple... Triple gate? I'm not a big Shakespeare person. Probably should learn some more of his history, but oh well. And that's all that we can do. The Dark Lady will move again to coinage. Over here, now there's only one. Hmm. We're going to move to Corkenwell. And the lady moves to Yeah, I saw that one coming. St. Paul's. We'll move down to Black Friars. And the lady moves to a boat, to a boat, to a boat. She can move here or here. Can't move there. Okay, so I've got a 50-50 right now of doing this. And I'm going to go on ahead and take it. So we take a fog card. Put it underneath. Glab. Take our Black Friars card. Put it like this. And... We have a clue. Turn it over. We are using the oak leaf. So one of these. Is. Our clue. So only one of those. So we'll take a look. We're going to need to have some more. Now a dark lady does flee. There is only one. Moves back up to the tree. Moves. Has to move so she comes off. And the dark lady moves to housing. Which will go here. Or here. This card is discarded. Okay, so. We're going to move Liberty to, of the Clink. She is going to move to housing, which will be here. Or, oh, look at that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's, oh, nope, that's it. That's all she can move. Because she only moves one spot. As you also move one spot. So we are definitely going to take a fog card. Not looking. Pull this off. Liberty of the Clink. And we get in a clue. Only my plague, thus far I count my gain. That she that makes me sin awards me pain. Cool. A 
again we have a 1 and we have Ooh, look at that. I like that. The best ones are the zero twos and the twos. I really like the zero twos. It seems like that would be confusing, but it's not. Okay, so we're going to... Dark Lady now flees. There's two cards revealed, so we take one, two cards. She then moves to coinage, which she can, as I understand the rules, can move to. So that takes her to coins. And then she moves, and now it's her turn. And she moves to a cross. Now that's an interesting move. I am going to stay right where I'm at. I am not going to move. I'm not going to make a guess. There's nothing I'm going to do this turn. So we'll move ahead. Ah, shoot. She moves back to coinage. We will move here. That means she is going to move to a pub. Now the bad news is we get two potential places. I am not going to move. I'm going to move. Oh, when I get the South Fork. Oh, when I've been to St. Paul's. So I only have, yep, I only have those two left. I am going to move only way I cut down to one is here. I am I'm going to move to London, London Bridge. And she moves to church. Okay, so this is fun because there's that and there's this one can't move. So I'm going to move here. That means I get this. That means this is now my clue. One. Chain heart music. The statistical odds, it's this one. But we just have ones. So, in theory, they are all still in play. But that's the only one common between the three. So the odds of it not being that are actually really good. Okay. Dark Lady will move again. Back to the pub. Nice. We will in East Cheap. And we discover. Yes, we do. Now, when I start moving these. Yeah. Okay. Zero or two. Ring rattle. Okay, so rattle, ring, everything is in play. And okay. Okay, we're just going to go with that for right now. 
discard this card, come back, put this into here. Dark Lady will flee. One, two, three, four cards. So we go one, two, I'm closing my eyes. Two, three, four, to the bottom. That means she moves to housing. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's it. Oh goodness. Okay, so we're gonna move to Cornhill. And that's exactly where she's going to go. So we are going to, again, I'm closing my eyes. Opening, oh, okay, good. Him have I lost, thou hast both, him and me. He pays the whole, and yet I am not free. Cards discarded. And we get another clue. Zero two, again. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I'm definitely going with the chain. I have not locked these in. And this one. So that would leave oddly enough the ring is the other one. I think. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, statistics say that the chain is part of it, but it could also not be part of it, which would make all of these open. Zero or two of these. Hmm, I think I want to do one more clue. Okay, Dark Lady is going to run. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Eyes are closed. She moves to the church. Nice. There's only one church. And then she moves to housing. How does that work? Oh, yeah. She's supposed to move to all the churches. I think I was... Hopefully I'm playing this right, that she's supposed to move five spots. So this turn is right. The other ones were not so right. But that's okay. So then we move to housing. She takes her regular move. Church isn't going to get me anything. I'm gonna move back down here in the pub because I'm gonna go with this dense area. Oh, look at that. Oh. I will move to Bishop's Gate. I'm really hoping for a church here. And it's a boat. 
I don't know how that works. Kind of curious. No, this is right in the middle. Unless that's where I, right exactly where I cut it. So I'm going to have to assume that they're both going to be able to move to boats. It's the only thing that kind of makes some sense. We're going to go on ahead and move down here to Boar's Head. Well, or East Cheek Church. We are going to move back here. London Bridge, and that's what we were looking for. London Bridge. Take a fog card to close my eyes. Okay. And London Bridge. No. Dark Lady flees. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Where's the counter? Oh, that's all I've gone through? I had to have gone through. This had to have been flipped sometime. There's no way I haven't gone through that. Okay. So, which becomes a fog. Um, she needs to actually move. No. I'm going to play the fog, though. Mad in Pursuit. Move your pawn to any location of your choice. I'm going to move here. We'll put this back on the bottom. Hold on, she was supposed to, no. We then reveal her new location, which is coinage. She has to move. I don't get how they, how she moves but not move. We're gonna have to move her there. Which is probably only fair considering she didn't move before. So we're gonna go on ahead and Move back to London Bridge. She'll move to a church. We'll move that two. Uh, we'll move to the bar at East Cheap. Coinage. We're gonna stay here. And she moves to a bar. Perfect. And we're East Cheap. Right there on the floor. Yes. Yet do not so I so, but since I am near slain, kill me outright with looks and rid me my pain. Boy, I'd love to know who this lady is. Okay, so we've got another one. <sighs> Ring, crown, heart. Ring, crown, heart. Okay, so she's going to flee. One, two, my eyes are closed. Two, three, four, five. Six. She moves to housing. I'm just going to get her back to all the differing housings. Because we have so many clues. So I'm best off staying at the bar or coinage. Now the question is which is better, the bar or the coin? And since a bar just came up, I'm going to move here. I 
I am going to take a look. Thy soul check thee that I come near. Move your pawn to a neighboring location. Shucks. Okay, I did not look at the card that's below there. I am going to move back to here. Which turned out to not be good. Okay, so. But this is interesting because these two can move. This and this cannot move. Okay. We're going to move down. Money and boat. <laughs> These two just swap spa spaces. So we're going to move down here to South Work and House. So these two again will swap, swap spots. I am going to stay right where I'm at. So we got one more time before we lose. They move to housing. Again, they swap spots. And then they move to... I'm going to move up to London Bridge. And we're back to the craziness again. Okay, I will move to here. She's gonna have to move to, I don't see how this works. I'm gonna move back here to London Bridge. She'll move to Cross. Mystery card, I am not going to play this card. Okay, I gotta take a look at the rules. Okay, since she cannot move, I, I've decided this because I don't see this in the rules. I'm going to move this. I am not going to play the fog card. She cannot move. House. I am going to move back here. Pub. Perfect. I think I am best off taking the guess. So, I'm going to let you take a guess for a moment. You might want to pause. And we restart. Okay. We have two zero twos, three four ones. I 
I really, no, I can't. I need, some of you are probably right now screaming at me. I am going to go on ahead and, where are we at? South Fork, again. Okay, I am running out of these cards. I'm not looking. There we go. Take this card. Please. Okay. Perfect. Two of these. This is what we really needed. So can it be the heart? Yeah, but if it is the heart, it's not the ring. Okay, and okay, I'm really, really confident about this one. Okay, so heart ring, ring, ring over here, no rings over here. So ring is in. She's married. Okay, so it's not the note. Okay, these guys don't have notes. Not this one, not this one. Okay, and this one is saying it's not a crown. Or the rattle. So it's not the music note. It's the heart. Has to be the heart. Okay, so. Now we have to catch her before we get to zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is gonna be too rough. Oh, good news though. Look at that. Only two. I am going to stay right where I'm at. House. Okay, so we can move here. That's it. We'll move up here to coinage. Pub. We have to stay right where we're at. House. Pub. House. Oh, come on. Um, I don't know what to do with her. I really... I'm just going to have to ignore it. Theater does not get ignored. House cross. House. And there's only one. Oh, this is good. Okay, close eyes. That was much easier to do. And we are at Bishop's Gate. No, 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 no. One, and she flees. That makes it a loss uh, because I'm down to zero. And I was wrong. It was the music note. I knew that chain was too deceptive. <sighs> Crumb bumps. Okay, hey, I'm now at 50%. What can I say? Thank you for coming. I hope that you like and subscribe. Uh, please leave, feel free to leave a comment to let me know how bad I messed up. 
and I hope you have an absolutely great day. Please like and subscribe.